At first, I went and saw this movie because I was glad to see that Brendan Fraser is getting screen time again. So I was super excited. So I was more on that bandwagon of the renaissance of Brendan Fraser. But I was pleasantly surprised with this film. This is a great film. I, I would almost say 10 out of 10 straight off. You don't even have to watch the rest of this whole review I'm about to do because I enjoyed it because it felt authentic and also filmic in a way. The Whale is a beautiful film about, well, it's not about a whale. At first, I thought it was a, well, not the whale you're thinking about, because if you were thinking Brendan Fraser is the whale, then you are greatly wrong, and you should be ashamed of yourself. This film is far deeper than that, and I don't want to ruin it by telling you what this whale thing represents, but I, do, I just want to share with you that this film is one you should definitely watch because it follows a man who overeats and becomes morbidly obese. And the reason why that happened is because he, someone in his life had passed on. Where'd you gain all that weight? Someone close to me passed away and it had an effect on me. And he couldn't reconcile with his day-to-day -day activity without this person. And that took him on this journey of self-sabotage. But in the same vein, he, he also appreciates how amazing people are and how amazing life is. And I know there is this clip that was used in the representation of this film on the trailers that people are so it's a, it's a lot about that, but it's far deeper than they let on. So Darren Aronofsky did a fantastic job. I mean, it's Darren Aronofsky. So he's he always delivers anyway. So that's, you wouldn't be disappointed at that. I am trying to speak about this film without ruining it because it's one of those films that I can't just, I would feel bad spoiling it for anyone. It's a lot of the scenes are shot in one place but it's shot in one place in such a way that you would never actually think that it was shot in one place people like me think about that but you wouldn't if you're not a filmmaker if you're someone who enjoys film and great story this is definitely for you it's not slow and it's not excessively fast it's very human it feels very human i shed a tear as well as also came out thinking i will never eat another meal again well he just he, brendan fraser nailed this character I, I felt grossed out by a scene where he was just shoving food down his face because of how emotional he was feeling and you also felt that emotion with him as well so please Go and see this film. This is another film that feels like nothing else I have really seen personally. Maybe you've seen something else like this, but it's uh, I can't compare it at this point uh, because it's fresh in cinemas and maybe I need to expand my horizon in films. But this one is one of those films that I've it inspires you to feel like you should start making movies yourself because it feels that good. The story is just brilliant and the acting from Brendan Fraser is just, he wasn't being his normal Brendan Fraser self. I mean, he's still a good actor and he's even greater in this film. He, it's funny, it's heartfelt and he pulled it off. I don't even, I can't imagine any other person to play this role as well as he did. He put so much humanity into it. So I quite enjoy that about it. 
the best thing about this film is by far Brendan Fraser, the actor. I mean, we all collectively want to see that guy on screen more and more these days. And he didn't disappoint in this film. I need to know that I have done one thing right with my life. He carried this entire film. Do you know how hard it is to carry an entire film that is shot in one room without making people feel like it was shot in one room and also making them feel for you? Oh, it was brilliant. So I, I, I really enjoyed that about this film. Now in this film, Sadie Sink, if you don't know who Sadie Sink is, she's the girl who plays Max in uh, Stranger Things. She was a little kid in Stranger Things, but in this film, she carries this thing. She is such an asshole that you will just be amazed that, I mean, she kind of plays a bit of an asshole in Stranger Things. Maxine. It's Max. Sorry? Nobody calls me Maxine. It's Max. Bow, 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 bow. But she is far more of an asshole in this film and she does it so well. And like I say, if a character makes me hate them, then chances are they played that character very well. She played that character extremely well, but there is an arc in the story. So I'm not going to say that it ends well. I'm not going to say that it ends poorly. I mean, it doesn't end poorly as a film, but I'm not going to say the character that she plays, Sadie Sink plays, has a redemption, but she plays this character excessively well and she is the perfect asshole as a daughter in this film. Now, Hong Chao, I have never seen her as an actor. Well, this is probably my first time seeing her work. And oh my God, she is such a natural character. She, she's so believable. She's so believable as a carer. I don't like this. This isn't a good idea. I'm sorry. You say you're sorry one more time, I will shove a knife right into you, I swear to God. Go ahead, what's it gonna do? My internal organs are two feet in at least. <laughs> and there is a twist in this film with her as the carer that is, is just nicely and smoothly intertwined, into, well, not intertwined, just introduced into the film and I, I applaud Darren Aronofsky for being able to do that as a director of this film, but she killed this character. She was, you just felt, you, you feel like you have this friend somewhere in your personal life. That's how good she is. It just feels like, oh yeah, I know this person. That's how brilliant she is. She's, I'm, I think she's getting an award for this and she deserves it. Worst thing about this film, hmm. I don't have anything. I don't, I, there was nothing I hate about this film. I mean, there's that scene that was disgusting with the food shoving, but it's also a pretty damn good scene. It's just gross, but it's pretty damn good. So I can't say there is a thing I hate about this film. Now, this is my opinion, which doesn't mean anything. This is why this, channel is called two cents it's just my two cents about it i don't have anything i particularly hate about this film there is no worse thing about it for me you might find something i mean sure it's 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 a it's just no i got nothing can you watch this film while playing around with your mobile phone or your handset or your smartphone no no you cannot just focus this one's pretty good just pay attention, kick everyone out of the room if they're distracting you and just enjoy this film. It's pretty good and it requires a lot of heart and focus when you're watching it. I sound like they're paying me to talk about it, but I just really, really love this film. I literally almost think it's in between that nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 type of movie that comes around every now and then. And I'm sure I can guarantee that a bunch of people are not going to see this movie because it just wouldn't seem like that cup of tea, but when they do, and if they pay attention, they would really get a kick out of it in a very good way and sad, but also uplifting at the same time. Should you watch it? Well, if 
the beginning of this entire video has anything to go by, you would know that I kind of love this movie. And I kind of want everyone to go and see it in cinemas or at home streaming. It's just so well done and smooth and the cinematography is great and the color is beautiful and Brendan Fraser is just amazing at acting Hong Chow delivers such an amazing performance. Sadie Sink is an asshole, but it works. So yeah, you should see this movie. You should definitely see this movie. That's my two cents.